Does he know that? Does Rambo know that? Okay. Okay, well, we're, we're going to fire our, our uh, you know, statistical expert. Uh, we'll take care of that. <laughs> You're sure of that? Okay, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. members of the Doors feel about the film, and were they cooperative, or is there a, is there a disagreement about how, this, how they're portrayed? Ray and Robbie, I think, like it very much. Um, it was screened at Sundance uh, when, a month ago or so, and we were all there, and uh, we're all pretty proud of it. Yeah, there, there is. They, they, they like it actually quite a bit, as a matter of fact. i just tell you a funny story. Um, Robbie came up to me at Sundance and said something. He just said, uh, Tom, I just want to thank you. And he's a very, very quiet guy. Um, and I, I was confused. I said, well, Robbie, what are you thanking me for? He said, it just, it meant a lot to me that you told people that I wrote Light My Fire. <laughs> but, but, it, but it wasn't egotistical. It wasn't vanity. He, it was like, you know, I, how many people here knew that, that Robbie Krieger wrote Light My Fire? Right. Not a lot of people. You know, listen, intimate, you know, Doors fans know that. To you, it's, it's, you know, it's, sorry, it's, you know, it's boring, whatever. But to most people, they don't know that. And uh, that, that meant a lot to me, that, that it had touched him, and, and he was pleased by that. I don't think anything would have happened without the drumming. <laughs> the, um, the spotlight on the lead singer is real bright and, and, and dangerous in a way. And, and I was on the edge, you know, and I only got singed a little. That's better. Did I answer the question? <laughs> what do you think of the show film, looking back on the show? Um, I asked uh, I, 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 uh, <laughs> I asked Oliver, uh, you know, uh, I don't remember all those naked girls running up on stage. <laughs> what is that? Poetic license? Hollywood fiction? Um, I, I, think, uh, I think Val Kilmer should have been nominated for an Oscar. I was on the set and he gave me the creeps. I thought Jim was back. And I love Oliver for... Um, giving it a go, and, you know, he was actually in a bunker in Vietnam when we were playing, and so he tried to um, send a love letter later, and uh, I think it's uh, quite good. Uh, if, if it was a little bit more about the struggles of the 60s, and I think this film has more of that, I would have liked that. Oliver chose to make it a story about uh, the self-destructive artist, and uh, that, of course, is a valid way to go, but that's primarily what his film's about. The big question of the film that keeps coming up in every you answer is, why didn't anybody in the band tell him to stop and wake up? Yeah. Um, well, way back then, there wasn't substance abuse clinics, and um, we, we really didn't know he was a, quote, alcoholic. Uh, we knew he had problems. It drove me nuts. But, um, and uh, there was a worry that, well, I mean, you know, that's why I quit. And that's why I came back the next day, because I quit because I knew there was an elephant in the room that said, this, something's going, our singer's going down, and oh my God, what are we going to do? And I know we're making good music, and, and I found my path in life, and, and uh, I was uh, crucified between those two feelings. <coughs> OK. 
Okay, right there. Right. Yeah. Um, I would like to know if the uh, the footage you were showing from the Whiskey or Go Go gig, if that was the original footage and recording. Uh, uh no, no. What I I took. I mean, Real Doors fans are going to know, and I hope they'll forgive me for this, but. You know, there wasn't a whole hell of a lot of continuity in, in the footage. Um, there was no footage of, of them playing at the Whiskey, uh, nor of them playing at the London Fog. Uh, uh, Doors fans will probably recognize that footage as from their European tour when they, when they played uh, in England at the Roundhouse. Uh, but it just, you know, to me it had a kind of a feeling of very early... Right. And, because and so I, 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 as far as I knew, there was no footage, so I was surprised to see. You know, right. I, I just wanted to see there's also you. there's also no footage of the Miami concert. Yeah. The only that exists thing that exists from the Miami concert are the still photographs and that audio tape that somebody made of of, of Jim's voice. Okay. I have another very short question. Um, you you used a lot of this archive uh, footage, of course, and um, I wonder if you. Um, I mean, it must be extremely costly for the archive rights and the, and the music rights. So how are you, you going to deal with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, what makes you think it's that costly? It's not that costly, you know. Uh, John and I made a deal. He gave me all, all of his music. Yeah, the music rights aren't a problem. <laughs> um, no, it wasn't that expensive. I don't believe. <laughs> it's not free. The, well, the... Yes. Okay. Right here. I do not have another question, but I think somebody has to say, I think it's a very good movie. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. That means a lot. There's a lot of people involved here. Peter, Peter Jankowski, why don't you come on up here, man? Peter. Man. Where's Peter? Come on. Peter. Well, there's a lot of people that work very, very, very hard. <laughs> we work very hard on this film. Um, Peter. This is Peter. Come up here. Man. Peter, Peter and I were in the trenches. I can't tell you, you know, there was about ten people that all had extremely violent opinions. <laughs> About, about what the truth or what, what, what the story of the door should be. And Peter uh, was in a very, he had a, a let me just go ahead. Okay. Well, um, I actually don't want to talk about myself, I talk about our editors. It's an incredibly, as Tom said, an incredibly editor intensive project because you're creating, in some cases, something out of nothing. And uh, we have two editors that were just absolutely terrific, Mickey Blythe and Kevin Krasny. And they, between the two of them, put probably, what, a year and a half into it, right? It was, you know, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for being here at the festival. Tom, you guys.